The D is home to many genres of music, and now, in celebration of Black History Month, there's an opportunity to learn about some of the sites where the music was born and cultivated. Detroit Sound Conservancy and City Institute have an upcoming music bus tour that will take riders to some of the sites that brought the sounds to life. Joining us is Jeanette Pierce, president of City Institute, and Michelle McKinney, executive director of S Detroit Sound Conservancy. Welcome to the show, and thank you guys so much for joining us. Oh, pleased to be here. Thanks so much for having us. It is our pleasure. Now, you two are joining us from Spotlight Detroit, one of the stops on the tour. Why is this location significant, and what are some of the other stops? Spotlight is uh, my new favorite place in Detroit, uh, and it's opened only in May, but it is the spot for Detroit music energy right now. And it is also an art gallery, a coffee shop, a bar, a community space. But if you want to hear the, the greats in Detroit, especially around techno uh, and house and, and electronic music, this is the spot. All right. Well, talk to us about why a music tour like this is important to keeping Detroit music history alive. Oh, we have just, we're going to see some of the most beautiful places, the magical places where this music came from. It, music is around the corner, in the basements, in the homes, and in the people's hearts. And we get to see these magical places that make Detroit such a great and innovative music spot in Detroit. Yeah. So many genres of music have come from Detroit yes. and have major roles. We have such a major role to play. And we know Motown. And of course, don't worry, we'll go by Motown and talk about it. Um, but we really go into uh, places that you might not have heard of, like the Bluebird Inn is a huge spot in Detroit music history and blues and jazz and bebop and hard bop. Uh, Miles Davis had a residency there in 1953. And the Detroit Sound Conservancy has rescued this building from demolition. And we're going to hear all about it and get a little peek from the doorway uh, as well when we go there. Yeah, we, we're rehab, rehabilitating it for the community, for community space. And we're also going to have an archives there and and it's going to be bringing back live music performance. We're bringing it back. It. I love it. I love it. So we hear about all these great places. I kind of low key, I have to tell you guys this. I kind of wish I lived in that Motown time when it was hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just imagine like every club having, you know, amazing music happening every single night. And of course, all those, you know, great Motown singers to swoon over. But let me ask you this. What can people expect on this tour? Yeah, so we're, this is, we partnered with the Detroit Sound Conservancy yeah. City Institute where we've been doing tours with Detroit Experience Factory, 150,000 people, 16 years, uh, and Sound Conservancy is are the experts on the music. And so together we decided to put this ultimate tour together that covers what, almost every genre from uh, oh, blues, jazz, yeah, funk, Motown, funk, techno, funk, rock yes, and roll, uh, hip hop, you name it, and go all around the city, but really talk about also how music impacted Detroit and how Detroit impact of the music. So we'll be talking about, we'll be going by the Grandy Ballroom. We'll be going by um, United Sound. United Sound, which you is were advocating Motown. <laughs> and as, an, as a building that also could be lost to a demolition that needs to be rallied around. So this is more than just having fun. I mean, we're going to have fun. We're going to have personal stories. I mean, Michelle oh, is yes. living music history here, right? So it isn't oh. just the past. Black Bottom of yeah. Paradise Valley. We're going to be going by my husband's uh, street, Harold McKinney. Uh, we're going to Harold McKinney, which is right by B-Buck Park. Oh, this so is awesome. Great. This sounds like it's going to be just so much filled in an amazing bus tour. And we thank you both so much for joining us and sharing some of these gems that are right in our own backyards. It's awesome. Ladies, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us.